welcome to this lecture so this lecture is based on the perturbation theory i talked about perturbation theory for non degenerate state in that lecture now here i will talk about an example of perturbation theory in this example a charged oscillator is placed in electric field charged oscillator means the charge is oscillating like this like a oscillator when it is kept inside the plates and across those plates uh, some periodic potential is applied and when some external field is applied to it in this direction along x axis say then how this electric field will affect its uh, energy so that's what we have to do and uh, i have expressed this problem in the form of a statement that a particle of charge q and mass m which is moving in one dimensional harmonic potential of frequency omega is subjected to a weak electric field epsilon and the field is applied along x direction now we have to find out the exact expression for energy and to calculate the energy to the first non zero correction using uh, perturbation theory and uh, compare it with the exact result so for this let us proceed as follows say electric field is uh, applied along the x axis and uh, therefore hamiltonian of the perturbed system is q epsilon x right so it is the hamiltonian of the perturbed system means this hamiltonian is the result of interaction between the oscillating charge and electric field right now this term added to hamiltonian of oscillator and hamiltonian of the oscillator will become hamiltonian of the oscillator when it is unperturbed and it is uh, hamiltonian because of the applied electric field as we know that this hamiltonian of the unperturbed system is minus h cross square by 2m d square over dx square plus half m omega square x square therefore the hamiltonian of the system which we have considered it is equal to minus h cross square by 2m d square over dx square plus 1 by 2 m omega square x square plus q epsilon x so let us try to find out its exact solution so let us assume that y is equal to x plus q epsilon let me call it as equation number 1 m omega square and this leads to the equation d square over dy square is equal to d square over dx square plus 0 and let me call it as equation number 1.1 this is from this equation if i take it second order derivative because this is a constant it means it is independent of both f x and y now let us uh, do little mathematics to understand the thing So if I take square on both sides, then it is x plus q epsilon over m omega square and whole square, and this might be equal to x square plus q square epsilon square m omega square whole square plus 2x q epsilon over m omega square. So. now what i will do this is uh, y square minus q 
square epsilon square m omega square whole square is equal to x square plus 2x q e m omega square as I require a term half m omega square x times square plus something like this means we need these two terms right so for this what I will do I will multiply both sides with half m omega square so it is half m omega square y square minus half m omega square q square epsilon square m omega square whole square is equal to half m omega square x square plus half m omega square 2 x q e over m omega square so this will cancel out with it this 2 with this and this uh, will cancel out with it so that means the thing which we are having is equal to half m omega square y square minus q square epsilon square 2 m omega square is equal to 1 by 2 m omega square y square plus x q e so that means this whole thing is replaced with this in equation number one so that means using equation two and equation 1.1 1 .1 in equation one so if we do all these things then the Hamiltonian will become minus h cross square by 2 m d square over d y square plus half m omega square y square q square epsilon square over 2 m omega square as we know that this is basically a constant quantity and this term corresponds to h naught right so that means the corresponding to it, it it is a oscillator so that means its solution is equal to e n is equal to n plus half h cross omega so that means exact solution of this problem will become n plus 1 by 2 h cross omega minus q square epsilon square 2 m omega square right so this is the exact solution of our problem this is the exact solution let me call it as equation number four now the solution using the perturbation theory or the use of perturbation theory to calculate the correction term so the correction term is en1 and is equal to q n x n because uh, sorry it's not this but Q should not be there. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, as I know that this HP Hamiltonian of the perturbed system is equal to Q E and X. So let me call this as lambda, and this is the perturbation means this is the displacement along X axis, right? So right. So but as I know from problem of harmonic oscillator that this value is always equal to 1 so that means E n 1 is equal to 0 let us talk about now E n 2 second order correction term and this can be written as summation m is not equal to n x n that's mod square upon e n 0 minus e m 0 
and let me call this as equation number five. Now, e and zero is equal to n plus half h cross omega, and let m is equal to n plus one. So, if we try to do it, then n plus one means uh, m x n is equal to n plus one x n. And uh, for this, let me recall a result from harmonic oscillator. From the problem of harmonic oscillator, as I know that n prime x n n is equal to h cross over 2m omega under the root root n delta n prime n minus 1 plus n plus 1 delta n prime n plus 1 as I know. So if I use this thing here then how this can be written? This can be written as h cross 2m omega under the root root n delta n plus 1 comma n minus 1 this is sitting in place of n prime then plus n plus 1 under the root delta n plus 1 comma n plus 1 now this delta function will become 1 and this will become 0. So that means this is equal to n plus 1 under the root h cross 2m omega under the root. So therefore I can sum up this result as uh, this n plus 1 x n is equal to n plus 1 h 2 m omega under the root and let me call it as equation 5.1. Now similarly I can calculate the value of uh, n minus 1 x and n it must be equal to h cross over 2m omega under the root root n delta n minus 1 n minus 1 plus n plus 1 under the root sorry yeah n plus 1 into delta n minus 1 n plus 1 and its value will be 0 and its value will be 1 so it is equal to root n h cross over 2m omega right so this is the next part and this is equation number six also we know it's a very simple thing so that is uh, e n zero minus e n minus 1 0 is equal to h cross omega and e n 0 minus e n plus 1 is equal to minus h cross omega. Therefore, equation 5 becomes it is e n 2 is equal to n plus 1 x n mod square over e n 0 minus e n plus 1 0 plus n minus 1 x n hull upon e n 0 minus e n minus 1 0 and let me substitute their values. So if I substitute their values this equation will become uh, yeah. It's uh, basically minus h cross omega, sorry, minus because it's in the denominator. So it is minus uh, 1 over h cross omega. This is basically the value of this denominator. And 
this is root n plus 1 h cross omega sorry uh, not h cross omega but h cross over 2 m omega under the root and its whole square plus 1 over h cross omega it is root n h cross 2 m omega under the root and its whole square will be there and here uh, this simplifies to because it is minus 1 over h cross omega and h cross over 2 m omega n plus 1 plus 1 over h cross omega n into h cross over 2 m omega right so this simplifies to this and uh, let me take 1 over h cross omega and h cross over 2 m omega common here it is minus n plus 1 and it is plus n and it will cancel out with it and here it will remain in negative sign So it is equal to minus h cross over 2 m omega square because this will cancel out with it. So therefore, e n 2 will become minus half m omega square. So therefore, e n is equal to e n 0 plus e n 1. And e and two here it is a lambda and it is a lambda square. Its value will be n plus half h cross omega, and its value will be zero plus lambda square in place of lambda square. Here it is q square epsilon square because lambda is equal to q e. That's what I have assumed. And one by two m omega square. with negative sign so that means this is equal to n plus half h cross omega minus q square epsilon square upon 2 m omega square so this is the value which i have calculated using the perturbation theory and this fully agrees with the exact energy of the given problem right so that's it so thanks for watching this lecture and in the other lecture uh, i will talk about uh, stark effect